Welcome to lesson number 14. Uh, this is about 3D models, uh, which are pretty cool. And I'd like you to read the article on 3D models at wikipedia.com. Uh, models are used for stage props uh, to set a scene like a chair, a lamp, a table, sofa, buildings, rocks, boats, uh, you name it. Uh, they also are used for actors, ogres, dragons, uh, cows, dogs, princesses, heroes, uh, you name it. Uh, due to licensing restrictions, you have to download your own models, but there are literally hundreds of them for free around the internet. Uh, I like the site 3dm3.com, and I'd like you to download the cabin.3ds model and <clears throat> copy it into the uh, m slash fun directory after you download the lesson number 14 uh, software from uh, the bcook uh, site. After you copy uh, the uh, model uh, you can run dot a model fun slash cabin dot 3ds and the s key will uh, scale the model x y and z keys will move the models in the different planes. 3D models have complex algorithms and data structures and are always saved in a disk file format which means that the data in memory which is usually scattered all over the place is laid out in a linear or side-by-side -side format. So for example if you have a XY coordinate somebody has to decide whether it's stored as X followed by Y or Y followed by X, whether it's a one byte integer, a two byte integer, a four byte integer, and the format has to be standardized, otherwise programs that operate on that format uh, won't work uh, because they might read four bytes but the integer was really two bytes. If a company uh, develops a format and hides uh, the decisions they've made, then that's a proprietary format. If it's public, typically it's going to be uh, supported by open source and the format is documented. M supports only the .3DS format and only a simple form of that. Uh, one of the most popular uh, products for modeling is Autodesk 3D Studio. Uh, notice that the format 3DS came from 3D uh, Studio. Uh, the company is Autodesk.com. Uh, the early version of 3D Studio, uh, the 3DS format, was open. The current version, the .max format, is proprietary. Notice that they have a 30-day free trial, and be sure to go through a number of the examples, if not all of them, in the customer showcase. For open source modeling, uh, we can use an application called Blender at blender.org, and it's particularly useful to convert other formats to 3DS. Uh, basically, uh, there, it, when you open it, there's a square in the middle. You want to move that to the left or the right, then do an import of the model that you're interested in and export in the 3DS format. Let's take a look at 3DS uh, data structures as uh, represented in M. We have a vector of parts and a vector of materials. So uh, the material consists of a diffuse color, uh, red, green, blue, uh, 0 to 255, ambient, specular, uh, uh, and uh, shininess value and a texture. Uh, parts uh, consist of a name, a vector of triangles. Uh, remember that in the low-level graphics card, uh, triangles are pretty much the fastest primitive. Uh, if you uh, represent something in triangles and you have more and more and more of them, eventually you can get a smooth surface. Uh, the part also has a material index. Now let's take a look at a simple chair example. Uh, the parts are going to be um, a little different than what you would physically expect. Uh, the arms and legs are drawn as one collection of triangles. Uh, the body is 
uh, a single collection of triangles and the two arm supports are a single collection of triangles. There are three materials that are used, uh, two colors and a texture for the body of the chair. Now I'd like you to run uh, dot a model of uh, fun slash chair dot 3ds. Of course you can give any argument when you download other models. Uh, M for convenience prints a dump of the material and the part vectors for uh, every program that you run and it gives you a material count and a material vector and then object count and the object vector. Note that the object uh, vector indexes uh, into the material. One, two, three, one being material one. Uh, notice we have diffuse color, ambient, specular, shininess, and a texture name. The interface that M uses to manipulate models is called models. Uh, remember you can uh, invoke a members method to list all the members of any interface. The uh, new m methods, uh, the first one is load, and what that does is it takes a file or path name and it reads the format, interprets it, and creates the data structure in memory that uh, was used to generate the model in the first place. Uh, the next method uh, is uh, get material count, and we also have a get part count. Notice that the value returned by load is going to be what's called a tag or an index or a handle to the data structure. All of the other methods require you to present that handle in order to identify what model you're talking about and of course you can have many different models being used at the same time. We also have a method called set material color which takes a model handle a material ID 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the ray, which are going to be the colors, the shininess uh, values for that particular material. Uh, color can be shared by many different parts, so if you set uh, a color that is shared, you're going to change all the parts. There's also a method called reset texture, it takes a model tag, a material ID, and a string which identifies the path to the texture file which can be in any of the formats that M supports uh, for that uh, particular part. Uh, a restriction is that you can only reset a texture on a part that already has a texture in the file format. And the reason is that the texture coordinates have to be present in the format and there's no way to get them in for a part that already has a color but doesn't have a texture. And then the final method is the render method and this is particularly flexible because you can uh, set the identity matrix and then you can scale, translate, rotate, set the color, set the textures for uh, each model before you draw it. And of course if you manipulate those parameters, you can use the same model uh, more than once, uh, for example, to create a crowd uh, with different characteristics or different color uh, chairs and in different places uh, with different uh, textures. Uh, it's uh, pretty flexible. All of the uh, models uh, methods uh, in that interface are used in the amodel.txt program, so take a good look at it and make sure you understand it.